Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included! Clay's Amazing Space Calling Extraordinaire! My name is Twitchy and we are going to play on Twitchy's Tremendous Trojans. That is the asteroid that we landed on a very long time ago. As the uh, map started us off there in the very middle here looking at our med bay, I'm going to take the moment to uh, set up some vitamin chews. It's just a little bit of background stuff, help our uh, duplicates out, because we're going to start digging out some slime at some point. Uh, it's... We're running out of gold amalgam. You might be able to see on the top right. So we're going to end up having to dig into the swampy areas. Another problem that we've got down here is that you can see that our uh, gas geysers are producing a lot of gas, but the uh, pumps are not constantly working. This means that we are not actually getting through enough of the gas uh, at any one second to produce into power. So we're going to start separating off a few areas here. We've got the uh, the stuff down below, which I like to think of as the utility area. We've got the carbon scrubber, the liquid pump, the stuff like this. Uh, and whilst I was setting up the jobs, I realized the duplicates were not going outside. And once again, the doors were locked. Despite the fact that permission was granted for people to go anywhere and everywhere. Yeah, yeah it was all a bit weird. But yeah, we're going to rearrange the uh, natural gas generator room here. So that the natural gas generators are in one room and the utilities, the carbon scrubber and the pump are in another room just so we can build another power generator room on the next side and of course the room size is the limiting factor here this is why i wanted to put the utilities in a separate room so we can get lots of generators in and still actually be within the 96 tiles that it is to be a room over here i'm really wanting these guys to get the weeds warts but they seem to just be interested in building the ladder the reason i want the weeds warts is for these bristle blossoms over here they are hot you can see there are quite a few warm spaces in the base and this is mainly actually where i've not got a um united in insulated front with weeds warts on the inside uh the insulated front kind of seems to like jut in and out and there'll be bits that aren't actually insulated between that uh, and there'll sometimes be weeds warts in those gaps and sometimes not uh, and all i need to do is kind of work on that and that will uh, ease ease my base i'm gonna let let loose a little bit of water on the right hand side here to uh, let it down into the wastewater system so that it can be sucked back up and i'm sure that won't have any negative ramifications at all whatsoever However, another problem we've got is that there's a little bit of water in the bottom of the uh, oxygen production facilities over there, uh, flooding out the atmosphere sensor, thinking that it doesn't have any atmosphere whatsoever, stopping the whole system from working. I don't know how those... Um how that polluted water even got in there if i'm to be honest with you but that is a problem we've got talking of the uh, polluted water in no way uh, having a bad effect on us you can see that, that that got a little bit floody there no big issues though we're going to put down a whole a bunch of plant plot plant pots so that we can start getting the weeds what's out and about you can see that i've actually already pre-allocated two around the bristle blossom to try and keep their temperature down and with the mopping done you can see that the uh, oxygen does flow the utility room for the oil production of the oil oil refinery if you will and plastic production has got completely over flooded so we need to try and think about what we're going to do with this water and at the moment my only real plan is to carry on like digging it down deeper so one that we have more room to put the water in and two eventually we'll be hitting hot enough areas where the water will steam and then profit somehow i don't know it's the only option that i have at the moment uh, we're also going to open up this area down below and as i said we are running out of gold amalgam so we're going to make sure that we can dig up all the uh, all the gold from there also the slime is going to get processed this means we're going to end up with slime lung in our wastewater system again but you know these are all things that we can deal with another little side project that we've got on the go is trying to get this oil well up and running uh, so that will be interesting it's um it's a high pressure scenario down there we've got a lot of uh, natural gas that is waiting to explode out so i want to try and do that in a slow and majestic format talking of slow and majestic we have hit red alert because we want to get a doorway in place it turns out that whilst we were remodeling the power generation room down below the natural gas generators down here we didn't put the door in place uh, and unfortunately nighttime falls down so even though we managed to get cubic to come along and do the delivery everyone's sleep so no one can come along and do the build i, I still don't know why it's like firing red alert slash highest priority doesn't make your duplicates not sleep uh, i know it's not like great from a from a, an overseer point of view but i'd really like to be able to like to kind of push them at the moment i need to you know uh we have a small problem where i've left a few things on the uh highest alert but that's no problem now we're going to be digging a small access corridor underneath uh this because it's a it's 
practically useless space to me there. Uh, but our duplicates can make great use of it, walking back and forth between what is going to be our two generator rooms. We're also going to end up having a small extra um, corridor underneath for the water slash carbon dioxide to flow. You can also see that I am blocking up all the airflow tiles to this pump that is down in the same uh, room as the... Uh, Overpressurized natural gas and the oil well. Uh, these are. This is so that I can actually pull a vacuum and end up actually sucking out all of the natural gas that we're going to set free by uh, getting down and setting into that oil well. Uh, putting down a whole load of insulative tiles because, as you can see, we have got our cold water tank just to the left of this power generation block. And uh, one of the problems I think we're going to have is a lot of uh, bleed over from the heat. So I'm going to do all that I can to stop that happening. Uh, it's still not going to be 100% successful because you know that's just uh, life when you live inside a space colony because you know it's very hard to radiate heat away when uh, for one you don't actually have access to the outside um like, I don't have any way of radiating heat. Plus, also, they haven't given us, like, massive radiators in this game. That would be something that would be quite useful, actually, if uh, we got up to the space levels, like, up, up, above here. Oh, by the way, that small ladder that I just put in really was stopping me exploring that room up to the top left. But, yeah, wouldn't it be great if we had, like, some sort of space radiator? We dug up, uh, made a level surface at the top, pumped some, like, hot liquids through it, and it radiated that off into space. I, just a thought. That would be great. Mod makers out there, let's see or what you got. One of the problems that we keep having at the moment is the fact that our wastewater system keeps getting completely overwhelmed with the amount of uh, polluted water that we are producing. Both the generators, the, uh, the bathrooms, the slime distillers, all of these things all make uh, polluted water and when they're all firing, the polluted water system that we have just cannot keep up. So I'm going to be trying to make a second tank, a third tank in fact, uh, on top of all the others, ideally with a separate sieve system. system. In fact, it will have a separate sieve system, but that's going to be a long-term thing. I'm going to start off just kind of like clearing out the room and putting down the basic materials, waiting for all that to be put into place before we start thinking about the sieving. Uh, right now, we are watching ZTEC go around and uh, kind of single-handedly start building this entire power station down here. Uh, I'm not sure where everybody else is or what they are doing, but obviously their jobs are very, very important. A cubic coming in and doing a few more jobs here. Uh, mainly, we're waiting on people to do the deliveries. Uh, despite the fact that I am using local materials for some reason, every now and then, uh, the duplicates will go along and find stuff from inside the base or something like that. Now, I only, only assume that this is stuff that has been on the floor for a, a super long time, so maybe. As you can see, that tank up the top there is going to be uh, exceedingly large when it comes to, uh, to, to the tanks that we already have. Uh, and also, uh, gas lineup setup. Um, spoilers, I don't do too too great at this, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we, we will uh, watch it all get together and uh, take that little journey when it comes uh, together. Now, this little corridor down the bottom that ZTEC is in is literally going to be the flow, as I say, for polluted and um, carbon dioxide. So I was wondering whether we were going to end up with a situation like this, where it was a too high tunnel that ended up getting flooded, uh, but I, I think we're going to be okay. I'm not sure at what point uh, the water starts to flow along tiles, how deep it actually has to be before it spreads, but this is something that we can actually figure out. Okay, one of the problems we've got at the moment is, of course, our telescope is exposed to space, and this means that we uh, occasionally take meteor damage. So I'm going to go ahead and put some um, airlocks across there because we don't actually have the steel needed to make the bunker doorways. Uh, this, this makes me a little bit sad because not only do we need steel for the bunker doorways, but we also need it for the rocket. The rocket is very important. The rocket is actually what I'm looking to get done with all of this. Almost everything is being made in aid of uh, that, uh, of course, the major thing that we are working on is the water system because that is the big thing that is holding us up on all of this. We still cannot do a lot of the research that we need to do because we are not getting water back into the research machine uh, because it's all just our major water tank is just unflooded. Is it just yeah unflooded? It's drought. It's it's really low of water. One thing that I do think about quite often with this is the fact that we uh, we we can simulate many worlds in this we can have lots of different duplicates this leads me to think that maybe there is some sort of uh, overarching system government or purpose to what is going on here and uh, i'm wondering like well maybe it's some sort of like 
huge system of Voltec level experiments. You know, one, once the nuclear war started and ended, and then everybody came back out into the uh, into the uh, wasteland and got civilization up and running again. Did Voltec actually be like, okay, well that was a rousing success. Now let's turn to space and do the same thing. I, I can kind of feel like that's what's going on here. Okay, people are starting to dig down to the oil well. That we have a little bit of a problem with the fact that the ladder was trying to come down straight on top of the oil well, and as you know, that does not give us amazing access to digging out all the blocks around it and stuff like that. So I need to put a ladder down the side, but that's going to take me a little while because our duplicates are just very much interested in digging down here. And we've got our first little bit of a diamond. That is beautiful. I don't know what we're going to end up actually using it for, but using it, we will. Okay, so we've got one metal, pro metal refinery that I'm going to be using to turn iron ore into iron itself. And then the next one I want to turn iron into steel so that should be a nice little production line underway there this tank over here still not being dug out but i've also had the idea that i'm gonna like completely retrofit the tank underneath with the obsidian tiles that need to be in between the two to aid the uh heat flow uh, and, a, and a, a bunch of other things that i want to do like connect some uh, pipes together and stuff like that just to make sure that the cold water uh, the hot water tanks are working at peak efficiency look at the gas flow here looks like that our waste processor our waste gas processing is working particularly well uh, we are dealing with carbon dioxide and natural gas carbon dioxide ends up <laughs> eventually just getting vented into space and the natural gas gets turned into power but I have a, another problem that we're gonna start picking up chlorine and polluted oxygen soon and I'm not sure what to do with those two gases if I filter them out of the waste gas stream what do we do with them guys if you have any ideas please do drop an idea down below it's the pollu polluted oxygen we can probably just dump on top of a um, the odorizer and make uh, real oxygen with which is still a bit of a problem down here we've got quite high pressure oxygen and it means that the uh, gases that we need to flow out can't actually flow out but let's say that we can deal with the uh, polluted oxygen what do i do with the chlorine maybe we uh, put that into a holding tank and then have an ore scrubber somewhere not that we ever use ore scrubbers but i think it might be a plan perhaps uh, the airlock with the um with the atmosphere suits would be the place to put it yeah i don't know if you have any uh, better ideas than that let me know uh, I, frozen chlorine's always good maybe, maybe chlorine will be the coolant of choice mm, yeah ideas ideas but anyway leaving the duplicates to deal with the power factory down here i got a little bit of a notification that we're receiving some damage so i came up to the top to have a look and yes indeed the meteors were flowing so this is why we need to build a little safe area down there. Looking down at the water, I noticed that one of these isn't flowing, and it really, really should be. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why it's the uh, the wastewater was backing up was because we we're only processing half that we could do down here checking out the uh, temperature of the weeds what's going well but we really could do with some more down here uh, we're at about 30 degrees and I was trying to find if we could see anywhere in the um, encyclopedia if <coughs> how much temperature they nullified at once because I know that the anti-entropy device nullifies about 80 B BTUs a second something like that whatever the uh, the tick rate is for that uh, but the wheeze warts is just an unspecified amount of cooling now I'm sure on the wiki somewhere there would be some sort of information for that but uh, I'm, I'm not a wiki follower now that I've discovered that the encyclopedia is part of the game and I think that it should be how it should be but you know if you're given in-game resources you should really be able to use those in-game resources for everything surely surely the build team consisting of ZTech, Brum, Mad, Frank, Cubic, Tommy. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people going out and making sure that the build had come along well. It's a mere moments from getting this entire area put together. And I feel like this should be flowing already, that the uh, the generators should be running. But no, I've noticed that, you know, the power lines aren't put together. So we're going to wait for those to be put in. And then they'll have somewhere to output to. And that should make everything work a little bit better. Of course, this is going to take some time because for some reason I've made them out of a copper and copper is being kept up in the uh, in the actual main living area for some reason I, I, I really do need to make a little uh, storage depot on like I don't know the far corners of the base uh, to store things uh, like ores and metals and refined materials I think that would work out pretty well okay we've got one last pipe uh, one last wire to put in place here but uh, I'm starting to have a bit of a realization here that once again just maybe I put all the pipes in the wrong way uh, for some reason I I had it in my head that the, the 
pipes that the uh, the pipes coming out of the gas generators were the other way around from what they actually were and I ended up putting down an entire system wrong uh, there, there wasn't even any way to salvage it quickly I had to literally come back in and rebuild it thankfully all the materials were there so the moment that I put down the orders uh, ZTEC and others were very quick on getting going through and doing the doing the deeds that needed to be done one of the things that's kind of missed uh, going through the gameplay at this accelerated rate is the time that I spent actually paused looking at the uh, gas wires going I can't believe I've done it again. I can't believe that during this whole recording process I didn't spot once up until this late moment and once again on video there is evidence of me being an absolute idiot when it comes to green and white wires. Uh, and then so much so that actually have you noticed how the carbon dioxide isn't outputting yet? I mean that's that's another fun thing that might come along and be the wrong way around at some point. But other than that, you can see that the gas generators are actually flowing. Three of them have got themselves full of uh, gas and one of them is just waiting for a small bridge. Uh, unfortunately, the carbon dioxide, as I said, uh, the bridge coming out of there, probably a hangover from the original way that I had hooked it up, is actually the wrong way around. In fact, it can't be because I destroyed everything. I actually legitimately put that down the wrong way after I'd have cleared everything out because I put something down the wrong way. I, I don't know, guys. Sometimes I just don't understand what is going on in my brain. Uh, speaking of, we need to try and put this ladder down the side. I have spoken of this before and now the orders have been put into a place. And things seem to be flowing wonderfully in the gas drain right now. So hopefully we should be able to keep everything running. We are producing much more power than we are consuming and that's always great. I'm going to take a little moment to have a look at this crude oil kind of like dripping through the water. I'm not sure what's actually inducing that effect but I kind of like it. Okay, the next thing we're going to deal with is this electrolyzer. The electrolyzer on the left hand side is in a cold biome and because it doesn't actually drink the water all that quickly you end up with a bit of uh, stagnant water backing up the pipe uh, that goes to it and this can lead to it freezing and that's actually what has happened on the left hand side so uh, I've decided the best way to probably deal with that is just to build another one on the warmer biome on the right hand side here and just rip all of this down it's going to be pretty much the uh, best way to deal with it not only do we not have to then deal with it getting cold again or not putting like some sort of heating system or something in there but also we just get to take all the materials back and use them on the right hand side here which I think is always a, a, a beautiful um side effect or beautiful um yeah we'll go with side effect of uh destroying stuff is the fact that it then puts the materials right there for your duplicates to use which is always that's an underlooked uh, an overlooked thing there okay so i want to get the iron into steel this is going to take a little bit of processing and it also turns out that i hadn't hooked up any of the infrastructure to that second one but that's going to be fine i've noticed that my puffs are not doing feeling so well they are super overcrowded maybe we will uh extend the roof back up and see what sort of uh, tile space each puff needs to be happy because I've got a feeling the slime is not being produced over there and you know I like to have sp uh, slime being produced because we want to get mushrooms produced and that would be beautiful okay watching the gas flow as you can see we are now getting little bits of chlorine into the waste gas and this is what I was saying I need to figure out how we are going to be dealing with that okay the second uh, metal refinery is saying to make steel we need refined carbon and I'm like refined carbon how do you make this well the only thing that I've not built after I checked the rock granulizer to see if it was something that we can make in there was the kiln so I'm just going to throw one of those up because I literally don't have one anyway so it's probably a good idea to build one we're going to take a moment to make sure that all the gases are still flowing correctly I really do need to destroy some of that pipe work on the right because it is just kind of like dead ending and I've decided that maybe maybe we need a larger gas reservoir for times of the um dormancy for times of the gas general uh, gas vent being dead uh, not so dead asleep I mean, dormant, asleep, these are all good words, right? Okay, we're kind of waiting on Wise here to come along and make the delivery to the oil pump down below. I've been making great use of this new errands tab on the uh, on each individual build or order. Any order whatsoever, you can click on it, you can press the errands tab, it will tell you who is or who's on the list of potential people who are going to be doing the job. Uh, and you can even click their name, it will take you to them, you can see them and what, figure out what they're doing and why they're not immediately working on your job. 
which I think is amazing. So I was starting to set up a nice little automation system for this uh, electrolyzer and pump here. And then I just realized, look, well, we've got the filtration systems. We've got everything in place. We don't actually need that at all. So I'll end up uh, ripping all that back down very shortly. And you might notice that I'm putting a brand new ladder up the left-hand side of the uh, telescope up there. That's to give us a sideways entrance to the uh, top of the doors so that we can clear them off before we open them up. Okay, another bit of uh, awkward little pipe work going on here. We, of course, have not putting a coolant or the... A the waste pipe for that coolant to the second metal refinery so that's gonna come along and be built up pretty quickly but of course the problem that we've got with that is the fact that the water isn't being pumped out of our main water line uh, and this is a bit of a problem obviously this is the f like we can't be using our drinking water or indeed our research water for cooling down the uh, metal refinery so we're gonna have to try and do something about that and as much as I don't like it oh also by the way the steam geyser is back on we totally failed to cool down the water before the steam geyser came back on but however long the steam geyser is going to be up for it's going to have a longer dormancy or it's going to be the same dormancy but i'm going to be like on it from the word from like day one of the dormancy uh to carry on cooling it down we we're talking about salvage earlier going through salvaging this water reclamation system we're going to use the uh items from that the resources from that to run this water back over and use it as a coolant which uh, i understand is actually like a heating system uh, and it means we're going to be heating up this water as we're trying to cool it down but we're not always going to be making more metals so hopefully it's just a temporary thing that comes comes through and then gets nullified by the anti-entropy nullifying device as and when is is needed i hope i hope anyway so i've been watching these metal refining for a little while now waiting for the duplicates to come along and deal with this pipe building order that i've put down but when i go and look at the priorities i can see that we've got a little bit of a problem and it is a bug we've had a couple of these in the past where for some reason the orders won't get placed properly and there'll, there'll be a, a white outline but then there's there's nothing else about the order at all there's no actual order there's no priorities no duplicates are going to look at it uh, I think we can click on it but it doesn't have any sort of information going with it uh, my only fix for this is to like try and build over the top of it and even then it doesn't really disappear uh, as is shown in the power generator room uh, that we just built there's a gas vent a gas pipe in there that refuses to be built or disappear or anything like that anyway the uh, new gas delivery system up top seems to be working fine so that's achieved beautiful and this uh, pipe here is the wrong way round that's because this was actually uh, another one used for something else earlier but we are repurposing pipes so we need to change this around and make sure that the uh, coolant can flow waiting for it to happen and we're going to get very close to having the last uh, space age material that we need uh, this is not quite true we might need a uh, ceramic later but you can see there's a bit of a problem going on at the top with the uh, junction of the water it's producing uh, it's pumping about half as much water as it can because there seems to be a decision that needs to be made at a junction up to go towards the electrolyzer i'm hoping that if i put a bridge in there it uh, will pump just as quickly as it was beforehand we'll, we'll find out well, anyway those jobs seem to have been put in place but of course the outlines are still waiting uh, and we're going to go through and put the last of these pipes in to take the cold water uh, the hot water sorry off to the cooling tanks ZTech being the man that's going to come along and fix this pipe for us should hopefully be nice and simple and there we go the coolant flows and then we just got to wait for the liquids to top up the internal buffers so that we can see what is going on i was just seeing where people were taking slime they're taking it over to the mushroom farm over here big pause there but a mushroom farm over there uh so i'm going to throw down some deodorizers so any oxygen that uh, does escape because of course carbon dioxide settles down low and the oxygen wants to push up out through the door gets processed into nice clean oxygen for the base and that should work out pretty well for us okay the kiln is producing refined carbon from coal that's nice and easy we've got the metal refinery on the left producing iron from iron ore and now mad frank has come along and he is making our last bit of steel our first bit of steel last bit of steel nowhere near our last bit of steel it is our first bit of steel i put a sweep order down because we cannot see that bit of steel right now but hopefully mad frank comes along picks up the coal and puts it into the kiln and there we go that is our last thing that we need before we can start making an actual rocket and with that i'm going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time where we actually are going to start working on the rocket we're going to put down the engine and we're going to see what we need to support it and then we're going to put down extra modules on top and we're going to send someone off probably not next episode but an episode after subscribe if you want to catch more of that i'll see you then when we're going to do that bye